Hey guys, so just wanted to give a, a quick um, showing for the Shia, butchering this name absolutely for sure, the Shiatsu Calf and Foot Massager. Now I just got it out of the box because I ran outside to go to the UPS driver. So right, right now I'm not sure if you can really tell me that this is fresh out the box cold. You kind of tell. Now, me personally, I kind of like uh, suffer with with like a, a bit of Raynard's disease. It's not a super serious disease, but a good population of people tend to go unaware that they have it. Uh, but a quick description to what that is is um, you will know that you have it. Blood tends to easily pull away from your hands and feet, making them extremely cold and just tough to work around in general so especially when the winter time the winter time is a brutal time of year for us to happen to go with this so i just unboxed it i haven't gotten the chance i'm still looking over the manual you know uh if you're here to stick with it with me you know The manual itself is laid out very nice. Quick, simple. Give the the quick description to to what is what. I said high temperature. Not as I said, it, this is fresh from outside. Give you an overlay of the box itself. The box is large. Just keep that in mind. So when you get it from from the delivery, you you will not be able to miss it because. I'm, You've got an even bigger box that is gonna come come within. Which is fantastic. So you get get that that doubling protection. Really back it up. Not only that, it um, comes plastic wrapped, but also edged out with with these nice cardboard guards, which really ensure not, nothing's gonna get dinked up while while it's in transit. Pretty fabulous. Also, when you get it. Take advantage of Medcursor's fabulous generosity that they happen to have. Absolute wonderful um, company. They're easy to work with. They get to you real back real quick. They have awesome technical support. This is the controller itself, so you can be able to uh, do the operations with it. Uh, mine has got a little bit of a bump to it, but it's probably like... Um, Maybe some excess glue or something. Oh, well, it goes away. I think it was just an air bubble. Yeah, it's probably just because of the cold weather, in all honesty. It just, like, makes it bubble out. Nothing crazy, no, nothing really interrupting anything going on there. Let me go ahead and uh, put the batteries. Now, you do get two AA batteries, too. Very nice, in case you don't happen to have any, you know. Uh, the screen is going to go black at the moment because I'm just putting the camera face down. So I'll just walk you through what I'm currently doing. I'm currently breaking open the packaging for the battery. I'm not going to be able to insert it into the controller. Just trying to be careful. damage the batteries while I'm trying to do that. If you're watching, uh, feel free to be able to skip ahead to, you know, a few nit bits here to there in case I happen to, like, put on the, the camera again. Just for, for like, minor adjustment wise. Okay, so I got the the battery lit up. Insert them in. I haven't plugged it in. Open this 
little beauty of a white box real quick. Get yourself a nice charging brick. It's not insanely heavy, but it's got some nice heft to it. Definitely has quality build behind it. Make sure you get an optimal electrical charge output. This is probably going to roughly take me 30 seconds to kind of like uh, undo the zip tie or like the, the bread ties, I should say. And plug it into the wall. Sorry, I'm just trying to get to one of my outlets. Also, if you do hear the little music in the background, that's uh, because I'm currently playing Rocket League. Okay, so got the so this is a quick look through the bottom of the Shatsu foot massager and get a light to kind of like a, get a nice better look at, at that real nice as you can notice towards uh, that outer lane right there the, that would be the the kickstand to be able to give it the the ideal height that you're looking for whether it be that you're laying down sitting Within here, you've got the, the little legs that do come out. And then from there, you've got this as well. So to really get, give it that the defining. So if you're sitting, say like with it, within that position like that, you wouldn't necessarily use the, the mini legs you would pop out the, the big stand. That way, have a better de descriptive workflow real quick. So that way, okay, you know, you'd be able to do something more like this. Also, just in case as well, too, when you pop out the, the mini legs, the mini legs do help as a support to help prevent the bigger latch from closing in on you, which is a huge plus. That way, in case you accidentally move, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're not like here and then you're, you know, you like end up going, going off to, to like a side or your foot slips out. And you damage something. It's a very nice added feature that was thought through. Plus, okay, uh, uh, let me just close these little latches up for now. Turn it about. Get it to the other side. That way, I could be able to plug. <gasps> Now 
It's a quick, easy, snug fit. You don't have to really apply that much force to actually be able to get it in there. It's got the red light currently flashing at the moment, although on the screen, it's not how it looks. So I went outside, as is, in socks. Right now, outside is roughly to where I am currently. I'm a, I live within the Western Mass area of the U.S. So right now we're we're in the midst of uh, it's January. It's 25 degrees outside. It's like super cold. It feels like 10. I ran outside to be able to go get that package. I'm not gonna take off my my socks so you can see physically see my feet, but my feet are cold right now. Take the oil. Or is that missing one? One important thing that I can also grab alongside as well. So and I'm going to use my feet at the moment because so my feet are pretty cold. Instead of throwing on like uh, slippers or the little champion hoodie shoes that I, that I always wear normally. I just straight gunned it outside because I was super excited to be able to get this. It's right here. So I've got it turned on. As soon as you turn on, you feel the... So from the bottom of your foot, you will feel from, from your heel to, uh, to the arch, towards the ball of your feet, and a bit to our, for the toes, is the, is like, uh, maybe like rollers or, or like bumps. When you start on there, they're going to go in the forward motion first. Right now, it just switched up on me to move forward and back. It feels real nice. I don't know if I, I'd do a, be able to showcase that. There's a red light currently showing. Let's see if I can kick it onto the heat. Let me just double check the instruction. Oh, the the airbags are are filling up for a nice co compression for the feet. I don't know if you're able to hear the the noises it's making. Sorry on the little pause. Definitely feels very, very nice. So, the okay. So, so this button right here with the I'm right here. The this is the rolling that you get. And as soon as you turn it on, you saw that the buttons that come on will give you the rolling, will give you the the low intensity air cushioning massage. Uh, I believe I had to, to hit it for the heat. The massager is with the on and off button it starts to work under default mode. That has worked. I just want to make sure that I got the, the heating and make sure that I did put it on. Oh, okay, okay, so, so because the, okay, so, for the heating itself, if you've got the green light, the green light means that you've got low heat flowing to you at the moment. So if you make sure that it's red, 
we'll have it in the high heat. Now, a quick little nice shout out to this and Red Cursor on the, the work that they did. On the low heat, you know, just been sitting outside roughly, I would say, five, five plus minutes. Not only that, it's been traveling in the back of a UPS truck. Now, UPS trucks are not um, heated. They do not have... They don't have air conditioning. They don't have uh, winter heat conditioning either, you know, for for uh, warmth protection. So their vans are absolutely stone cold frozen. And it's probably been in transit for the past few hours all day long. And this bad boy definitely kicks up heat within the first two seconds. Which is surprising because, you know, the, the outer body itself is still cold. You you would think it would take much longer than that, but within the first two minutes, on low warmth, you can actually feel it on the bottom of your feet. Super nice. Let's see, what about the the vibration feature? How does that? See if I can bring it a little bit closer to be able to hear the, the vibration feature is on. Feels wonderful right there. The the vibration give definitely gives a real nice touch, especially towards the the heels and the balls of your feet <laughs> towards the top end. Let's see what what else? What else is there? I think that's pretty much the it covered for for that. The wireless remote. It's fantastic. Let me give it a, a quick turn off real quick. It self de decompresses with air. It's nice. So now, for the moment. Oh yeah, that's nice right there. I'm gonna give it a nice touch. You can feel the the warmth really coming out of it. I love it. Okay, so let's get our calves in here. Check this out. Now, for for my personal line of work, I do. I'm a delivery driver, specifically for the part. Of, I specifically work deliveries with Amazon. So, just like the UPS driver that dropped this off. We're on our feet all day long. You know, not only that, we do a lot of walking, a lot of stair climbing, a lot of running if we really need to, to be able to get back to the vans, you know, because the temperatures are cold. Oh yeah, also, um, when you put your calves in, you've got nice space in between, so it doesn't feel like, um, you're struggling to, to get your legs in there. It's a nice, quick in and out. The air compression itself is what's going to finish off with the spacing that's in between to really get that, that muscle flow, squeezature, if you will.
the air cushions indeed in case you can pick it up or not but they are shifting you your calves and your legs back and forth while they're, they're making sure that, that they squeeze you from each side balancing the, the squeezes making sure the, the massage really gets through them and at the bottom you've got the rolling you can feel that the calves feels fantastic guess I'll look at this in case, in case you like to look at the technical specifications while I'm at it even though you could probably see it off the off the uh, the web page itself And over towards the box so it says that it has easy uh, easy to control customize your ideal pressure heat and vibration settings the detachable sleeves so detachable fabric covers keep your feet clean and comfortable air intensity you get the 15 to 30 minutes air pressure massage session which can greatly improve fatigue in the lower extremities you know, depending to um, how severe your workday happens to be or the activities that you do if you do a lot of on foot work you know, like me uh, like me personally since I do deliveries I ended up pulling my foot like uh, about la last week I pulled my my right foot and it's been a, a little rough to get my deliveries out and going because I do a lot of running so unfortunately, I had to just slow down because of it. But the shiatsu really feels nice to the touch because it is sensitive and it does hurt. So if you do happen to um, experience severe pains, you're not really gonna get my men. The ah, sorry, the shiatsu itself is not going to help further induce more pain than what you're feeling. Well, I had my feet going on there with the warmth. It felt very nice, soothing. My foot couldn't lo love me any more than it could. The vibration features. You got two levels, huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. It's got two levels of vibration. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I like that. So the high vibration for the calves, spectacular. I can only imagine what it feels like for, for the feet as well too. Especially this little guy right, right here. Especially the, within the arch itself, as you can notice, I've got flat feet. So the, that is very problematic. You know, for those, uh, those amongst the same boat of the flat-footed community, rise up hey don't be afraid to get get yourself one decently priced works amazing for a small compact the box is huge but that's because the, the padding is it itself it comes with is to ensure that you get a well pieced product that's not going to go into shambles upon you upon arrival also I know this is not a part of the review itself, but I personally have the, the Med Cursor V2 that I purchased way long before. And I've also done a review to this as well. It is a, one, a wonderful uh, little massage gun. So if you happen to have yourself uh, already a, a Med Cursor massage gun, it's got the multi speeds to it. And right here, I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and just lay back. Lay back and see. Really, really dig into the target areas. Anyways, let me get out of that A line. Real, real professional video here. <laughs> Apologize. But like that, you know, you team up both. Just feel great. 
hope you found this quick guide through you know um helpful right now i'll be getting around cool close to it reaching its 15 minute timer but uh i'll end it from from here thanks for viewing my bad i didn't mean to say it like that i happen to stream so i kind of a bit a bit conditioned to be like that um yeah this is the Shi shiatsu cap and foot massager by med cursor it's a wonderful little piece that they they've put together but on to a star rating that i would give it i would definitely give it a five right now it's uh in my in my calves with all the the work that i do starting to, to work out the knots right now so that, that feels good the knots itself the doesn't but you know the the workout that it's doing you know the the tending the caring feels nice it's just a little bit rough because it's de-knotting <laughs> a nasty knot i got going on but uh i'll let you guys go uh, extend this much further than I have to.